good evening, everyone. How is everyone today? Thank you guys for joining us. I am going to play a little quick video here just to begin. And while I play the video, I'm also going to launch a poll just so that we can learn where everyone's joining us from. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is not just an idea or a dream. It's the promise of a new day and a better world. Tomorrow belongs to the change makers and the risk takers, the passionate, the daring, and the bold. This is our tomorrow. All of us, together. This is where and how we live, shaped by our community, our neighbors, our friends, and our rivals. Shaped by those who challenge us to think bigger, move faster, and achieve more. By those who came before us and fashioned this university from sheer determination. They're pioneers at heart, innovators by necessity, and community builders because, well, we're from Calgary. Where that legendary can-do spirit has blossomed into a will-do commitment. And like Calgary, this university attracts people from around the world with ambitious dreams and the courage to fulfill them. We educate students to become community builders. We conduct research that changes the world. And we enhance the intellectual, social, and cultural landscape of our region. It's true. Our campuses draw disruptors, instigators, and challengers of convention. Those who seek and share answers to society's greatest challenges. Because tomorrow demands global attention to challenges we can only begin to imagine. Tomorrow our students are preparing for now, and our researchers are striving to understand. A tomorrow we're ready to face, fueled by the energy and passion of our students, postdoctoral scholars, faculty, staff, alumni, donors, and cherished friends. By discovering and creating new ideas that have a meaningful impact on the world around us, we can improve our world and deliver the promise of a new tomorrow together. together. Okay, so welcome everyone. Thank you guys for joining us this evening to learn what the next steps are after you have received an admissions offer to the University of Calgary. First of all, congratulations to everyone um, that has received an offer um, and we'll get started. Joining me here today is Shannon as well as Alfredo. Shannon is our Casual Recruitment Student Advisor and Alfredo is a current third year student studying international relationships with a minor in business and economics and he'll be sharing his experiences here towards the end of our presentation. My name is Maria Montiel. I am the Student Recruitment Advisor currently for Alberta students. Um, to tell you guys a little bit more about myself, I am currently a co-op student here at the University of Calgary. I'm doing my second work term with the University of Calgary and I'll do another work term to complete a full year work experience within the co-op program. And I'll be going back to finish the fourth year of my accounting degree within the Haskins School of Business next year in the fall of 2021, uh, which is when you guys will be joining us hopefully. So please feel free to scan both the QR codes that you see on the screen here. If you want to check out our view book again, you can do so on the QR code to the right. And if you want to sign up for more information regarding important dates and deadlines, as well as other events going on um, regarding the University of Calgary, you can do so scanning the QR code to the left. Shannon will be in the chat throughout the whole presentation. So if you guys have any questions regarding anything I'm talking about um, or anything that you're wondering, please feel free to pop them in the chat and she'll be able to answer them throughout the presentation. But we will be having a Q&A session towards the end, towards the last 15 to 20 minutes of the presentation where I'll be able to answer your questions and Alfredo will be here as well to answer any questions that you may have for current students. And with that being said, um, we'll move on. So we would like to acknowledge the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta, which does include the Black Confederacy, as well as the Satina First Nation and the Stony Nakoda. The city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. We'd really like to take the time to thank and acknowledge these traditional territories as University of Calgary is located on their land. And we're super thankful to be there and to be able to grow with them as an institution. 
So the city of Calgary, um, I saw from the poll that many of you are joining us from Calgary itself, many from BC and many from um, rural Alberta as well. So um, welcome. For those that are living in Calgary, you may know most of what I'm talking about uh, or you may not. So I'm here to tell you guys just a little bit more um, about what the city of Calgary has to offer. So the city of Calgary is a very young, well-educated and entrepreneurial city. It was actually ranked as the fifth most livable city in the world and it is one of Canada's safest major cities. Safety, I know, is going to be a very big factor, especially for your parents. So it's always great for them to know that you're coming to a super great, inclusive, and safe city. Calgary, much like you, Calgary is a very generous community with more volunteers in Alberta than the national average. So there's lots of amazing volunteer opportunities here if that is something that you're interested in. If you enjoy going out to restaurants and enjoy trying new foods, then you'll love Calgary as the restaurant scene here is one of the best with so many different options for you guys to choose from. There's always events, concerts, festivals, games going on around the city that you guys can be a part of throughout the whole year. We also have six major ski resorts within just two to three hours from campus, the closest one being Nikitska, which is only around an hour and a half away. So if you love skiing or snowboarding, and then um, this might be the perfect spot for you. If you're not necessarily into the skiing and snowboarding scene, that's okay. Um, there's lots of still lot of great things outdoors that you guys can do and explore. Um, so Banff, Canmore, you guys could go to the Rocky Mountains, whether that be to hike, to take a nature walk, or just to explore. Um, you guys can definitely do that here. We do, Calgary is Canada's sunniest major city, so we get a lot of sunshine throughout the year. We get an average of 333 sunny days per year. So that's always super helpful in the winter, even if it's a little bit chillier than usual, the sun will always be shining, which was which is always personally a great mood booster. And recently we've been having a super great winter. So I promise our winters are not as cool, cold and cruel as some do make it out to be. We do have North America's most extensive pathway and bikeway network, so you could easily bike all around downtown as well as the surrounding parks um, or all around the city if you wish to do so, as well as from Canmore to Banff. It's a beautiful bike ride if that's something that you're interested in as well. So again, lots of great things to do here. This is an aerial view of our main campus located just northwest of the Calgary area. The University of Calgary is a mid-sized mid institution with just over 27,000 undergraduate students and about 6,000 graduate students that make up our community. The University of Calgary is super fortunate to have the transit station right beside our campus. So it's actually just around five or less minutes away from the closest building that you see here and a little bit from this building um, as well. From there, you guys can walk around through our whole campus, through our Android channels as well as plus 15. So if you don't necessarily want to step foot outside, you don't really have to, especially in those super weird cold winter days. The only building that you guys can't currently access through our indoor tunnels of plus 15 is this yield building right over here. But hopefully in the near future, they'll add um, something that will connect to it. As you Calgary students, you guys will get unlimited use of transit with something called the Student U Pass. It's essentially a little sticker that you guys get on your student ID card. And if, um, it's essentially a transit and bus pass for the whole semester. I will say that it is cheaper than just simply getting a monthly bus pass or maybe a daily bus pass. Um, and it does tend to feel free sometimes just because of how accessible it is um, to everything around the city and to the University of Calgary, whether it be to go to the university if you're not staying in residence or maybe to explore the city, it's super great. We do have a 23 to one student to faculty ratio, meaning that for every 23 students, there will be at least one faculty member there to help you guys. You guys will notice during your first year classes that they are gonna be a little bit bigger than usual. And that's because you guys are gonna be taking some general courses that most first year students are required to take in all faculties. So that might be a, your first year math course, first year stats course, um, as well as some first year options such as geology, geography, or maybe sociology and things like that. That being said, it does not mean you guys won't have the necessary resources there to help you guys. So you guys will still have access to your lab TAs, tutorial TAs, assistant instructors, instructors, as well as your very own peers. So one advice I'll give to you guys um, from personal experience is to get out there during your classes and to meet at least one or two people within that class and make new friends um, because you guys never know when you might need a helping hand so maybe you're not understanding a work problem maybe you're not understanding what the teacher has said it's always great to know that you have someone there that could possibly help you out during that time um, or maybe you're feeling a little bit under the weather and so you miss class for some reason at least there's someone there that can give you what you miss and can catch you up on that lecture so um, speaking from personal experience it's always great to have someone in that class with you 
the University of Calgary is in the top 200 universities worldwide. We were also ranked as the sixth top research university in Canada. So there's amazing volunteer opportunities, sorry, research opportunities here for you guys if that is something that you're interested in. So first year experience, you guys are gonna, take, gonna get to experience many new things here at the University of Calgary. Unfortunately, as of right now, I can't say for sure whether we will be in person or online, but these are just some of the ones that we really like to highlight. So some of my favorites include kickoff, which is our annual football game at the beginning of the year, as well as the Crochet Classic, which is our annual hockey game at the beginning of the winter semester. So both events, all dinos come together to cheer on our amazing teams, have a great time, but also meet new people. You could also win some pretty great prizes. So uh, the first time I ever went to the Crochet Classic, a student actually won a full year's tuition um, by participating in the halftime show game and then essentially winning that game. They also give us some other great prices, such as free hoodies, sweaters, backpacks, or water bottles. So you never know what you could get. Another one I really want to highlight is claim your seat. So as you Calgary students, you guys will get free access to all the um, all the events that go on at the University of Calgary, whether that be a concert, um, a showing, a theater performance, or anything like that. You guys can simply show up the date the event is. Um, being done, um, show your student ID card, and then you guys can claim your seat, which is awesome. There's also pet therapy. So during midterm season and final season, if you're feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed out, you can go to pet therapy and pet some dogs as well as some cats sometimes, um, whether that be for a few minutes or maybe even for half an hour, if that's something that you wish to do with your friends or by yourself. Um, it's always a great experience. And I will talk about Clubs Week in the next slide. So Clubs Week. That is a week in the first semester where all of our student clubs have booths inside Mac Hall, which is sort of like our food court. And you can go around all week asking questions, signing up for clubs, meeting new people with similar interests, as well as similar programs or similar classes. We do have over 300 student clubs here at the University of Calgary, so there really is something for everyone. If you find that you're really interested in something, but it's not a club yet, um, that's okay. You can simply make your own club by getting 10 people with similar interests, and then the student's union will fund that club for you. I was actually part of the snowboarding and skiing club the first two years I went to university and we would actually get discounts for date passes at Sunshine and Lake Louise. All I had to do was sign up, sign up for the club, pay a $5 fee for the whole year. And then I was part of that club for the whole year and I would get all those benefits. So as you can see from the slide here, there's so many student clubs with for various different things. So um, there really is something for everyone. And I would really encourage you to explore all your interests within a club. So as you Calgary students, you guys will get free access to all of our active living facilities, and that does include our aquatic fitness, gymnastics, racket, and outdoor center, as well as the Olympic Oval. So you guys, as you guys may know, we do have the largest outdoor center of its kind in North America where you can rent anything you can imagine. So you can rent anything from snowshoes, kayaks, skis, snowboards, um, camping equipment, you name it, and you can rent it there for as little as a few, few hours of a day, a full week, or even a full month if that's what you wish to do. Since that Calgary did host the Winter Olympics in 1988, we are home to the fastest ice in the world, the Olympic Oval, which actually does tend to welcome international athletes from time to time. So you could see an international training there on a day-to-day -day basis. And as you Calgary students, you guys will have access to skate here for just the Tooney. So it's always super fun and super accessible. I've been there a few times with my friends and it's always a great time. For you Calgary, as you may know, we are home of the Dinos. So the UFC has brought home 47 new sports national, national championships in 10 out of those sports um, since 1964. Supporting your dinos is fun and it's free and I would highly recommend it. Um, as you Calgary students, you guys will get free access to all of our um, games that we host at home. For any athletes out there, if you haven't already um, and you want to get in touch with a team coach, I would highly encourage you to go to godinos.com to connect directly with the team coach and possibly send them an email um, regarding if you want to try out or anything like that. Student support, there's so many student support services on campus. I would highly encourage everyone to take as much advantage of these as you can. I'm gonna talk about the three that I usually use as well as one of some of my favorites. So I really use the career services, which is support there for students looking 
for help on their interview skills, resume support, as well as one-on-one -on -one career advising. They have great events such as practice interviews and networking events. So it's not only a great way to make new connections, but also a great way um, to kickstart your professional career. They also have one-on-one -on -one career advising. So maybe you're not sure what you wanna pursue after, um, after you finish university, you can go there and they'd be able to help you out. There's also the student wellness services for counseling as well as medical services, such as dental and eye care. We have an optometrist right on campus. So if you're ever in need of new glasses, you can definitely go there. We have a registered dietitian and we have learning opportunities such as Mindful Wednesdays or Inquiring Mind. And then lastly, I wanna talk about the Student Success Center. So it's there for students wanting any writing support. So maybe you'd like some help editing that first report or essay that you write, um, or maybe second, third, and so on. They'd be able to help you out. Or maybe you're not quite sure how to do citations and you need a refresher or you need some help doing them. They'd be able to help you out as well. You also have amazing academic advising. So maybe you're not sure what options to take or maybe how to schedule your classes or how many classes to take and so on. Um, that's the place that you would go to. And lastly, they have peer-led study sessions. So um, during final season or midterm season, if you're really not getting it on your own, you could go to their peer-led study sessions and they'd be able to not only give you practice questions or practice exams, but it's your very own peers currently taking those classes or peers that have taken those classes and done well that would be able to help you out. So it's a great, it's a great benefit for students and I would highly encourage you to at least go to one. So Campus Community Hub, there's so many spaces on campus for students to just relax, um, study, or meet other students. Um, so the Campus Hub does have weekly social activities for students if that's something that you're interested in, as well as trained peer support volunteers to listen and provide support for students. Um, but it's just a great space for students to just relax and maybe study for a little while as well. Um, and this is not the only place that you can do that all around campus. There's so many study spots available for you guys to take advantage of. So. Um, again, great opportunities. Okay, so co and internships. This is one of my favorite things to talk about as I am currently a co-op student myself. So we'll speak on what those are a little bit more if you're not sure um, what those programs are. So this cooperative education and internship are optional academic programs that provide students the opportunity to enhance their education by acquiring career-related or non-career-related work experience before graduation. So as students, if you were to do a co-op or internship term, you guys would um, be able to get experience as well as build a network of contacts and obtain a career, sorry, an understanding of careers in and out of your field before graduation. So one of the benefits about co-ops and internships is that you guys will still be considered full-time students when you go and do your work term. So that's great because you guys will still have access to student loans, awards, um, as well as UPASS and all of you Calgary's amenities. Another great benefit about co-ops and internships is that you guys don't necessarily have to apply to jobs that go within 12. If we don't particularly have a co-op or internship in your program, please know that we will be able to offer research opportunities instead. So living on campus, our application for residence does open on January 1st. So if you haven't thought about living on campus, then um, this might get you thinking about it. So I think there's so many great things about living on campus. You guys would be close, close to all your labs, your tutorials, your classes. You have all of you categories and many of these walking distance. You have where you work or study, then the more successful you'll be. All first year students under the age of 21 will live in a single or double occupancy room in a residence style dormitory. And as students, you guys will be guaranteed residence for the first two years of your studies here at UCalgary, as long as you guys apply before May 1st of 2021. So with the current situation and with the current restrictions, double room availabilities may be limited, but you guys will all get a bed, storage under the bed, as well as a desk and a nice and spacious dresser. And double rooms would also be, of course, as a shared mini fridge. So this is an outline of what you would get here on the pictures. As I mentioned, a double, room, double room availabilities may be limited, um, especially if restrictions continue, um, but they are still available. So if you're coming to Calgary with a friend and you guys want to room together, you could definitely um, do so. You just have to say that you want to, if that's the lottery still stands, um, but I can definitely check for you guys, especially right now, since most students are getting single rooms due to the restrictions. 
As first year UCALGRI students, you guys will have to choose a meal plan. So we have three options available for you guys. Um, we have an all you care to eat meal plan as well as the 250 swipe plan. There's lots of fresh food available for you guys from gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, halal, as well as meat choices for you guys to choose from. Um, so you guys could go to the landing, which is this third picture that you see here. It's sort of like a buffet style area where you guys go in, scan your student ID card, and then you can go and grab anything you'd like to eat. Um, so whatever you'd like to eat, however, you, however much you'd like to eat um, in order to nourish yourselves. So there's two options for that all you care to eat meal plan. There's a seven day all you care to eat meal plan as well as a five day all you care to eat meal plan. Those two options are unlimited. So you could go in every five minutes to grab something you eat if you'd like. Um, but if you are not planning to eat here every day and you want to make, maybe make yourself some food or maybe go out with your friends, you can have a 250 swipe plan option. So that one is not unlimited. It is limited to those 250 swipes, but it is a cheaper option for as well if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, so next step, you have been offered admission to the University of Calgary, so what now? If you have received an offer of admission, you will receive a formal admissions package with the next step instructions, as well as an official letter in the mail. We highly encourage you to accept your offer and pay your deposit as early as possible. We do have our U at U Calgary event, which will be on April 17th of 2021. By attending this event, you students will be will have access to this early course registration. So how it will work is that the early course registration date will be dependent on who registers for the event first. So course registration will be between May 5th to May 7th. And depending on how early a student pre-registers for the event, you will get a set date for that. Um, registration will be available soon for this event, so please keep your eye out on the events page for this. All right, and I will speak about um, accepting your offers and first and second choices in the next slide. Okay, so course registration. Please watch your junk folder for any course registration emails as they can sometimes go there. Um, and this will give you some more details regarding registration, information, and all of those good things. Joel, our awards manager, is hosting a student loans webinar on February 10th of 2021. So if you're interested in that, you can attend that. We will be starting to accept pre-registration soon. So again, please keep an eye on the events page for all of these um, webinars coming up in the new year. Okay, so there's various great tools for course registration. From experience, one of the most helpful ones, in my opinion, is the schedule builder, where you guys can actually see a copy of, or a visual copy of your schedule, um, and you guys can switch things around. So for various courses, there's multiple lecture sections that you could essentially pick. Um, so that schedule builder will show all those sections, and then you can choose which one that you wanna go to in order um, to better fit your schedule and your needs. Um, you guys can see all of your classes with a full week in a full week glance. Um, you can also see when you have your classes, your labs, your tutorials, as well as your breaks. So you guys can plan out when you want your breaks, when you want a lunch break, and so on. Sorry, guys. My dog is in the background. Just give me two seconds. Okay. So for the $500 deposit that you guys um, we need to pay after you've accepted your offer. The deposit is tagged to the person, so not the application. And so if you have received an offer to your second choice program um, and you pay that deposit, if you later on receive a, an admissions offer to your first program, the deposit will automatically be applied to that first choice program if you choose to accept it. So you won't need to repay that. So just keep that in mind. If you have received a conditional offer of remission, you still need to meet certain requirements. So you have to maintain that average. So you have to stay within that competitive average for your program. You must complete all the required courses for the program. And you have to submit all of the outstanding documents as outlined in your to-do list. And of course, you must graduate from high school. So Alberta students, we will receive your initial and official transcripts. Um, so you guys don't really have to worry about that. But for BC students and for any other students um, non in, not in Alberta, please make sure that you guys are sending us all your documents and putting them in your student center by the deadlines in order to keep that conditional admission offer.
So as I just mentioned, Alberta students, we will receive um, your initial and official transcripts through Apply Alberta. Um, but just a, a date that everyone must keep in mind is to have all your high school courses completed by June 30th of 2021 in order to be considered for full admission. Um, so if you're planning to go into nursing, a requirement for that is Biology 30. So make sure that you guys are not doing those courses during the summer because then we won't be able to offer you full admission as we won't be able to see those final grades before those deadlines. So again, make sure that you have that June 30th, 2021 date in mind. Okay, so new student orientation. I do wanna mention that at this time, the University of Calgary is not 100% certain whether this will be in person or virtual. Um, so they will be making that decision, decision in the new year. So please just make sure that you guys keep up to date with any news regarding U Calgary um, and instruction. But orientation, what this looks like is you guys will get, um, you guys will first get a t-shirt from your faculty, which is always really nice. Um, you guys will meet people from your faculty and you guys will be able to get all of your questions answered within that orientation day. Um, also, you guys will get firsthand advice from any experienced orientation leaders so that those will be current UCAGRI students within that, your faculty, um, which is always great. It's always great to ask them questions regarding schedule, regarding coursework, regarding what they do to manage um, work life as well as school life and things like that. Um, and you can attend kickoff with your friends, which is what I spoke about earlier, which is the annual football game. So I highly encourage you to attend your orientation, whether that be in person or virtual, because it is really great just to connect with the people within the same program, within the same faculty, as well as current students. Um, and you guys can ask them any questions that you guys may have. Okay, so we're gonna talk about approximation of first year costs and fees. So. Alberta is the only province that does not have a provincial sales tax. So tuition at UC Calgary is actually below the national average. So tuition is based per course. So you get, so, sorry, on courses. So you guys would pay per course. A typical full course load here at the University of Calgary is 10 courses. So five courses in the fall semester and five courses in the winter semester. However, I do wanna mention that it's not mandatory to take five and five every single semester. We do offer courses in the spring and summer semesters, but those do tend to be a little bit more challenging as you guys only get in a month and a half, whereas for the fall and winter, you guys get four months. So they are a little bit more sped up. And depending on what class you take, they can be a little bit more challenging, but you guys do have those options. The reason we say that a typical full course load is 10 courses per year is because during your whole degree, you guys will have to take 40 courses. 20 of those courses will go towards your major, um, so what you're concentrating in. And then the rest of those 20 courses will consist of some general courses that you'll be required to take within your faculty, as well as some option courses. So we say 10 because if you take 10 per year, then you'll graduate within four years, but you could spread them out a little bit more and graduate within four and a half, maybe five years or less. I had a friend who graduated in three and a half years. So it is possible like that as well. Other than tuition, um, it, tu fees will include your general fees, which does include the transit pass that I spoke about earlier, as well as the health and dental plan. If you guys don't wanna partake in the health and dental plan or the student pass, you guys can choose to opt out of these fees if that's something that you wish to do. Then there's books and supplies. So another advice I'll give you guys today is to hold off buying textbooks for at least a week or two into your classes. And that's because for some courses and for some classes, textbooks are not mandatory. Um, so there's classes that use no textbooks. There's classes that use textbooks in and out. And there's classes where it's only optional. I find that for those optional classes, um, the professor and the instructors give you everything that you guys need to succeed. And so um, the textbooks can be a little redundant. I find that in my personal experience, when I have bought a textbook that's only optional, I don't actually use it. Um, textbooks can be pricey. So if you don't really need it, then it's always a safe bet not to get it. Our bookstore does have brand new textbooks as well as used textbooks. So if you are in need of a textbook and you wanna buy a brand new one each time, the used textbooks that they sell are always in great condition and they are a little bit cheaper. So it is a great option. Um, as well, if you're not wanting to buy a brand new one each time. So lastly, if you are wanting to live with us on campus, then the last three will apply to you. We've approximated some living expenses and spending money. However, everyone is different. So you can choose to spend more or less than what you see on the screen here. Then we have the average first year room cost. 
as well as the seven day all you care to eat meal plan. But I just want to remind you guys again that there's two other options for that meal plan and they are a little bit cheaper um, than the one that you see on the screen here. Okay, so undergraduate awards. There's so many undergraduate awards available for you guys. The University of Calgary offers over $17 million in scholarship bursaries and awards, um, which are available annually. Over 40% of students entering U Calgary will receive at least one undergraduate award, which is amazing. So I highly encourage everyone to apply to those um, award applications. You guys can access those through your student center at this moment. Um, you guys did not have to be admitted into the University of Calgary in order to be able to apply to those. So if you haven't already, I would highly encourage you to get in there and fill out the high school award application, which is open till March 1st, 2021. So we have something called automatic admission awards. We have what's called the President Admission Scholarship. For these two awards, you guys will not have to fill out an application. So if you're entering high school and you, sorry, if you're entering from high school and you have an admissions average of 95% or higher, you'll automatically be eligible for that President Admission Scholarship. And if you're someone who's completed the IB diploma and you've received a score of 35 or higher, you will be automatically eligible for that $2,000 international, that sorry, the IB Diploma Entrance Scholarship. So again, you don't have to fill out an application for these two. These are automatic with your application. So explore government student loans. Student loans are available to Canadian citizens on, or permanent residents who are studying full-time or part-time at a post-secondary institution. The applications will open in mid-June for high school students who will begin their studies in September, which will be for you guys. Um, so again, Joel is having a webinar for student loans on February 10th, if you are interested in this. Um, so please make sure you register if you are interested in, the, um, in student loans, how to apply and so on. The scholarships we offer are based on a variety of factors, including academic merit, financial need, as well as extracurricular activities. And these are just some of the ones um, that it, it are included within those applications. So make sure that you're applying to as many as you can. You really never know what you might get. Even if you think your average is lower or not as competitive as others, that's okay. Because there's different criteria for scholarships, you really never know what kind of money you may get. We like to say, spend an hour filling out an application. And if you're awarded a scholarship, um, it'll be the easiest and fastest money you will ever make, which is so, so true. There's also thousands of external awards available from groups across the world. So you guys can visit ucalgary.ca slash awards to see what is available and potentially um, apply for some of these scholarships. I would highly encourage you to apply to as many as you can. Even if you don't necessarily meet all the requirements for that scholarship, still send in that application because you never know what you might get. I've had friends who have applied to scholarships that they know they don't meet all the requirements for, but they just say, why not? And they send in that application um, and there's been times where they have been awarded that money because not enough students have applied to that scholarship. And so um, the institution and the groups offering that scholarship just end up giving it to those students that did apply. There's a lot of scholarships like that. So please apply to as many as you can. There's so much money for students out there. Um, I highly encourage you to take advantage of that as much as you can. Okay, so important things coming up in the new year. Um, the residence application will open on Jan January 1st. Um, and our application will open on March 1st, 2021. The deadline to accept offers is May 1st. But again, I highly encourage you to, comp to accept that offer and pay that deposit as soon as possible. Um, that way you can start looking for courses and then potentially be able to register early during May. June 30th is a deadline to complete all high school course requirements. Um, and the final official transcript deadline for high school applicants is August 1st to August 30th. So make sure that you're sending in those um, transcripts early um, so that we can get them between those August 1st and August 30th dates. All right, and then this new student orientation will be from September 2nd to 3rd, and then class will begin on September 7th. So with that being said, I just want to highlight five of the reasons why um, it's great to choose New Calgary. So there's excellence in academics. There's amazing research opportunities. We are a caring community. You can earn while you learn. Um, and we do have an adventure. We do encourage an adventurous lifestyle. lifestyle. So um, 
what's best than to hear from a current U Calgary student. So as I mentioned before, we have Alfredo Joni here today, joining us here today. He's a third year international relations student with a minor in business and economics. So he's going to be chatting with us for a while, and he's going to be telling us his experience as a U Calgary student. So Alfredo, you can take it away. Thank you, Maria. Um, first of all, I saw in the chat that some people lost sound. Are you guys able to hear me now or hear us? Good stuff. So thank you, Maria, for the introduction. As she said, I am a third year student here at the University of Calgary. I am currently taking a major in international relations with minors in economics and a minor in business. Um, I'm also a tour guide for the university and I recently started working with the recruitment team. Um, I would like to, first of all, congratulate each one of you guys for being accepted into the University of Calgary. And I would like to share my experience of my, uh, here at the university with you guys. Um, as Maria already explained during the presentation, I heard a lot of people tell me uh, to be outgoing when I came in and just get involved. So I made that one of my goals when I first started at the university. And one of my goals was when I sat down in my first class to become friends with the person sitting in front of me, behind me, to my left and to my right. And funny story, they've actually become some of my greatest friends that I've made in the university. I also decided to become involved with clubs. So I became part of the uh, International Relations Club, as well as the Ski Club, because I like snowboard. Um, those two provided, uh, the International Relations Club provided some good seminars and some good talks that have helped me um, get some knowledge on what I can do in the future with my degree. And the ski club, that one's just for fun. They do some great trips that I've gone to. Um, now moving into COVID, um, it has been weird. And um, it's been a weird transition ever since last year. But I really do have to give it up for every professor for taking it so well and helping out with each one of the classes. They've done an amazing job at keeping up with everything that has to do with technology, keeping the um, course uh, the coursework um, to a certain extent doable, um, and have the least amount of problems that we could have with everything that's going on now. I really hope that we do get back to go back to school soon, as I do believe that being in class and Having people to talk to in person is a great experience, but I really have nothing wrong to say about this online learning experience. Um, finally, I would just like to close off by saying how much I've enjoyed my experience here at the University of Calgary with the community feel that it provides and how friendly everybody is. The University of Calgary is not only focused in your studies and your academics. It's also focused on making you successful in the future. Um, and if you want a university that really focuses on you, um, University of Calgary is the perfect place to be. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alfredo, for sharing your experiences. I can definitely, um, I can definitely highlight some of the ones that he said as well, especially getting out there, meeting new people uh, in the same class as you, whether that be the person in front of you or to either side of you, as well as getting involved um, in clubs. Um, I highly encourage you to do that. Um, like Alfredo said, you can meet your lifelong friends just by getting to know the people in your class. Um, but clubs are as well such a great thing to do. There's so many great events that you can be a part of um, within clubs. So I highly encourage you to at least, at least be involved in one club per year if that's something um, that you can do. Um, but we are gonna be doing a Q&A session for the rest of the webinar here. We have 20 minutes. So I can see there's a few questions being answered here by Shannon. So I'm just gonna go through the chat and answer any questions that haven't been um, answered here. So this one's a great one. Will classes be online for the fall 2021? Unfortunately, at this time, we cannot be sure whether um, the University of Calgary will be fully in person or 
um, doing what they're doing right now, which is a mixed delivery of instruction. So as of right now, the University of Calgary is doing sort of a half and half. Some courses are fully online with some being mixed delivery. So those courses that are um, have a lab component, they are being held in person currently, um, or they were being held in person. The classes have now ended um, and they are in final season. But unfortunately, as of right now, we can't be sure. Um, They'll be coming out with an announcement probably in the new year whether classes will be in person or mixed delivery for the fall 2021 so please just keep um, checking to see any updates and news regarding that there's another question here um, that says how do you know what courses to register for so once you have been fully admitted um, and you can start registering for courses within your student center you will have an academic sort of um, page where you guys will be able to see all of the courses that you need in order to fulfill your degree. So if you have chosen a major, um, you guys will be able to see all of these specific courses for that major, as well as some of the um, general courses that you'll have to take within your faculty, as well as some of the option courses that you'll be able to take as well. So that'll be on your student center. So if you don't receive the if you don't accept the admissions offer right away before the final date um you won't be not considered but we highly encourage students to accept that offer and pay that fee just so that you can 100 percent um sort of accept that offer and have your name or a spot in that program you will be able to apply to first year options once you apply to all your general all your courses so once you during May, when you apply from May 5th to May 7th or those, um, those specific dates, when you apply for course registration and when you're registering for them, you'll be able to apply to all the programs that, or the, all the courses that you'll need. Um, the, av the overall average from the five courses that are needed for the program, that's the average that you'll need to maintain in order to be, in order to be offered full admission um, at the end of the year so you that average for the five courses that you needed will have to be maintained um, your offer could be canceled if you if you your average drops majorly um, from what you what we calculated before so as long as it's within that competitive average for your program you'll be okay So we do have something called um, first year degree guides where you'll be able to see all the mandatory courses you'll need to do in your first year, as well as some option courses. For those option courses that your that first year degree guide would tell you all the courses that you need or all the option courses that you, that you could potentially get. So let me, I'm not sure if Shannon has that link handy. I believe she might have put it in the chat earlier on. Yes, so she just put it on the chat. Thank you, Shannon. So if you click on that first year degree guide, you'll be able to see all the courses that you need to take within your program, as well as the option courses that you'll be allowed to take as well. So that's like another great question. This one's asking, how do I go about getting a minor within my degree? So for minors, you don't have to necessarily um, say that you're wanting to choose that minor. You can, you can say so after your second, third or fourth year, but essentially how that works is if you take eight to 10 classes of one specific um, subject, then that will be automatically considered your minor. But you won't have to worry about minors in your first year because um, you need to have a certain amount of courses in order for something to be considered your minor. I'm gonna post a link in the chat where you'll be able to see um, minor programs here at the University of Calgary as well as how to declare that minor later on in your, um, later on in your university career. So another great question. So regarding optional diplomas, diplomas are not mandatory for admission at the University of Calgary. So whether you choose to take the diploma or not, the admissions team will simply take the final mark that appears in a student's transcript. Um, sorry, the final official mark that a student uh, for a student.
So courses in a dual degree, you'll essentially have to follow um, the same course requirements as a normal degree. You'll have um, on your student center all the programs that you'll need to fulfill. Um, and a combined degree is five years. So you have an extra year. Um, some, pro some courses will go towards both programs and some will go to specifically one and to specifically other. Um, so you'll be still be able to take courses uh, like everyone else, you'll just have that one extra year to graduate rather than the four years. Um, so the resident application, this is interesting. It says the residence application opened on January 1st, but the residence portal allowed me to apply for 2021, 2022 already. Um, so it's very interesting. I'll, I'll run that by our manager, but it should be January 1st. If you've been able to apply, then great. Um, we'll just make sure that your application is there. Um, but I would highly encourage you to email the residence team to make sure that your application did go through um, and just make sure that the application is for the year that you're starting, not the current year. Um, yes, yeah, so the $500 deposit is not an extra fee. The $500 will go towards your tuition once you have been um, fully, once you have fully accepted your offer of admission and once you start registering for courses. I, diploma marks will still be considered if you guys choose to take them because how it looks to us is there's only one final mark on a student's transcript. So that diploma, if you choose to take it, will already be in that final class mark. This is recorded and I believe it will be up on our Choose You Cacri YouTube channel within a few days. You don't necessarily have to accept your offer of admission before applying to residence, but we highly encourage it um, just so that you guys can be sure that you guys have a spot in the program. If your average is not within the competitive average, once we do a final evaluation, then your admission offer could be canceled. We do have mental health counselors available at the University of Calgary. That is something um, that you wish to do. Um, the Student Wellness Services has counseling for students as well. So that's another place that you could go to. I guess I'm just looking at other questions to make sure that I haven't missed anything. We do get credit for several IB courses done in high school. I'm gonna put a link for you um, that might be helpful for you. So for the application for scholarships and awards, I'm gonna put a link. You guys will be able to see all the scholarships we have to offer, as well as how to apply for those scholarships within your student center. All first year courses are not transferable into a different faculty. You have, if for specific programs or for specific faculties, it would be the same as um, a high school student, essentially. You'll still have to have certain course requirements, um, which you will probably not be able to meet during your first year. Um, so if you go to our admission requirements page, you can see the course requirements needed for a transfer student, um, which is what you would essentially be if you're wanting to switch into another program or into a whole different faculty. If you're planning to change programs within your very own faculty, those first year courses you have taken may be transferable into the program that you want to go into. But if you want to switch faculties overall, then you might have to meet some other requirements, some other course requirements. 
Um, so there's something about parking. So if you're driving to the University of Calgary, we do have parking available. Um, and you can get a parking pass if you go to parking, you'll see. But if you don't want a parking pass for the whole semester or for the whole year, um, you can pay daily. And it's first come, first serve. So parking can fill up sometimes. So there's different ways that you guys can pay your deposit fees. I'm gonna put another link so you guys can see um, all the different options that you guys have. And there's also a step-by-step -step instruction on this link on how to um, pay for your fees and your deposit. If you've accepted um, your offer to the University of Calgary and um, later on you want to decline, you would need to email apchange at ucalgary.ca in order to cancel that, um, in order to cancel your admission. I'm going to put the email in the chat. So the competitive average depends on how many students apply as well as the average of those students. So it, change, it varies from year to year. I believe admissions is going to be sending out a second round of offers after December, so in the, in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out there, um, but it can take up to two to six weeks for the admissions team to get your application evaluated and then send offers, depending on how many students have applied to that specific program. So for internships, for you guys, what well, you'll essentially have, you guys can apply into the program after your first year of university. And the type of internship and the type of position will depend on what you are applying into. So you guys can apply and work in any position that sparks your interest um, for any program. So for pre-med students, um, you guys can choose to take any program in order to be able to apply for medicine later on after your undergraduate degree. Um, I can't fully advise on what courses to take as I'm not, um, I don't work directly with the medicine or with science faculty. I would highly encourage you to either get in contact with the Fleming School of Medicine or the Faculty of Science um, and their advisors will be able to advise you on what courses are best to take and so on. When you guys, start your university um, here at UCalgary, we do have advisors for every single faculty. So you guys can go to them if you guys have any questions regarding um, courses, regarding your schedule, regarding co-ops and internships, as well as research opportunities and everything like that. They will be able to, uh, to provide help throughout your whole university career. If you're accepting your admission um, and you're paying the deposit, then we are assuming that the University of Calgary is your university of choice. So we don't really recommend you accepting your offer if you are wanting to cancel later on. There's internships and co-ops available outside of Calgary. So you guys can apply and work um, in positions outside of Calgary. They don't necessarily have to be within Calgary. Yes, as Shannon mentioned, the $500 deposit is non-refundable. So if you're accepting your offer and you're paying for that deposit, um, it's telling us that you're sure you're coming to Calgary with us. So if you have another post-secondary in mind, um, I don't recommend that. The final review of transcripts is usually done once we receive all official high school transcripts. So it can be um, in August or maybe July. Research opportunities are mostly after 
first year. So during your second, third, and fourth year, you'll be able to apply for those opportunities. You can find competitive averages in our admissions admission requirements page. I'm going to put the link in the chat here. For all of our programs, you'll be able to see the admission requirements as well as the competitive average just to the side. As for what your admissions average was, um, you could potentially email admissions at admissions at ucalgary.ca to ask for that or call us. We will always choose the course with the highest grade for evaluation. Um, so the competitive average has not changed due to COVID because it depends on how many stu how student applications we get as well as the averages within those students um, and some other details that unfortunately I'm not aware of. So again, as long as you stay within the competitive average for your program, um, then you have a high chance that your admission offer will not be canceled. The president's scholarship is based on the average of the average that we calculate. Um, so yes, the final transcript marks. The conditions of acceptance will be within your student center. If you've taken Math 30 and 31, it will depend on what the requirement for the program is. So if the requirement only asks for Math 30, then we will use that one. Um, yes, yeah, so we don't look at specific courses. We don't look at the mark for specific courses. We will simply look at the overall average for the five required courses. Okay, and I believe we have one more minute, so we'll get one more question in. Um, let me see if I haven't answered any here. Um, will there be a distance education webinar? I'm not sure. That will have to be. Um, I, unfortunately, I'm not sh quite sure. So we'll just keep it uh, keep an eye on the events page um, to see if that is available. Okay. So the president's scholarship is automatic. So if your high school average is 95% or higher, you'll automatically be eligible for that scholarship. If your program has a fifth academic course or option available, if your social mark is high and can be used, then it will be. All right. So thank you so much, everyone, for attending today's presentation. Um, congratulations once again for receiving an offer to you, Calgary. Again, highly recommend you guys accept your offers and pay your deposit if you know that Calgary is the institution for you um, and you're for sure um, wanting to come to you, Calgary. The deadline is May 1st, but again, I highly encourage you to accept and um, pay that deposit as soon as possible if you are 100% sure that you want to come to the University of Calgary. So again, the competitive average um, is within our admissions link. I'll put that up on the chat one more time. But otherwise, thank you so much. As Shannon said, go Dinos. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys all in the next year. Um, and good luck with the rest of your applications. And again, scholarships, apply to scholarships, please. All right, have a great night, everyone. I forgot to mention, um, please feel free to send us a, an email at future.students.ucalgary.ca if you have any additional questions um, after today. Otherwise, thank you guys so much and have a good night.